But what I'm going to show you is that this pathway restores the function of these critical cells. So this path, this SIR2 and 1 that's involved in longevity is drastically reduced in our IPF patients' stem cells. And interestingly, if you put zinc back in, we can upregulate the ability of the cells to make sirtuin-1. So zinc seems to help NAD plus and sirtuin. So it's a pathway. Now there are activators and blockers of sirtuins that you can buy. Unfortunately, sirtuin activators the drugs have not made it to market, but as I'm going to show you, there's a supplement that contains this. So when we activate this sirtuin, we can double the ability of these stem cells to regenerate. And if we titrate in increasing doses, we can significantly increase. So what we've now been working on is how does the combination work? So if we replace NAD, we can make it, we can improve the regeneration. Now, if we combine zinc and the sirtuin activator, you can see we can, we can really almost fourfold increase the ability of these cells to regenerate in the dish. And now our most recent work, which we haven't published yet, if we combine, so here's zinc alone, here's the NAD plus, here's the sirtuin activator. If we put them all in together, we can nearly fourfold increase the ability. Now, what we don't know and why we will need clinical trials is does this ability to regenerate the type two cell from IPF lungs in a dish, would that translate? into the ability of these things to function, these critical cells to function again. Because the challenge with the two medications, Esbriet and OFEV, is they target the ability of the scar-forming cells to make collagen. The horse is out of the barn at that point. Those drugs don't treat the underlying cause, which is the type 2 cell failure. So we're working hard to figure out the best regimen. And then our goal is to bring this to clinical trials. But in the meantime, what's truly stimulating and, you know, a little bit challenging to think about is what could we do in the meantime? So in our publication, this was a beautiful review showing that in the normal circumstances, zinc gets in activates this metabolic pathway and sirtuins, and we regenerate. But in IPF, it's lost. So what's interesting is that these are supplements. You can buy zinc over the counter. You can buy NAD supplements. And the sirtuin-1 activator is purportedly to be involved in a medicine or a supplement called resveratrol, which many of you may have heard of. It's, a, it's available in one of my favorite substances in the world, good red Napa wines. I'm sure it's in other red wines, but I'm partial to Napa myself. And so there are these supplement companies that make NAD plus and resveratrol. And this is, of course, a good Brunello that can, contains it. So what what I don't know is, would these supplements help patients? We don't have any information yet, but because they are available and they're safe, it's an interesting thing to think about.